Um, I want to take and ask this question for the three of you, since Robert, you are a part of uh, the Something Rotten production as well. Something Rotten, make sure I say it with the exclamation point at the end, is the largest show that Playhouse on the Square has produced since the before times. So <laughs> how much pressure, I guess that I can ask this question in two ways. How much pressure did you all, did the universal you, like everyone associated with this with this with this production feel and then individually how much pressure did you all feel to have that knowing that this was like the big show and you know john you know this from being a part of this world typically um theaters open their seasons with big shows like this sure. with the whole intent of selling subscriptions right, <laughs> right. so like let's just keep it real uh it's like oh everyone to come to the show and then maybe we can get 20 percent of them to buy a sub before they leave right that's how the sausage is made, made. <laughs> yeah, made uh so how how was that pressure did you all feel any of that pressure i felt the pressure but i wasn't in the show so um, I, I think there was a lot of pressure, but Whitney really did do an amazing job of taking a lot of that pressure off of us. Um, she always came in and was very encouraging. I think for me, uh, the pressure was like coming off of Patsy Cline, I felt very thankful to already have like some time on the stage. Mm. Um, but this being like my first uh, lead in a show in Memphis and also it being the sort of comeback of COVID for Playhouse, I was like, oh, this has to be really good. <laughs> like, one, I don't want to embarrass myself, and I don't want to embarrass Playhouse, because y'all have been so incredibly good to me um, and have really made this place feel like home. So that was a lot of the pressure um, that was on me, I would say. But as a whole, like, there were so many hands on deck, especially with all of the set pieces and the costumes. Like, it is a technical feat, this show. Mm -hmm. um, it is very hard to do if you don't have the... Uh, the power, the willpower. <laughs> <laughs> see what he did there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And if you don't know, go see the show. <laughs> yeah, of, of the entire uh, cast and um, staff and production team like on deck. Like it is very hard to do if everyone's not on the same page. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I didn't feel a particular amount of pressure per se, but I, I did feel like in the environment that, uh, um, you know, we've kind of been used to the shows that we have been able to do. They've been, they've had to be smaller scales. Right, you know? exactly. And so a lot of us were kind of looking around going, oh, how do we do this again? Oh, what, what, oh right. Big, big, think big, do big things. And, um, and uh, it, it, it's a little bit like getting on the bicycle after you've been off it for a decade, you know. <laughs> it's a little wobbly in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, you get there and that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I didn't feel any pressure. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, Just perfect. Just perfect. Primarily <laughs> through the process, I felt as though I played a fly on the wall. Um, I was thankful for my collaboration with Whitney, um, sprinkling notes here and there. Um, but truthfully, it was watching someone with a good head on their shoulders uh, know how to herd the corral. And then seeing a bunch of seasoned vets like mm -hmm. jump into the work and just pick things up so quickly, like um, just watching choreography pick, picked up every single night and then the number is done. I mean, we'd have to go back because, um, you know, they would do a number and then like three days later they would not touch it then go back to it. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Am I carrying um, Interplanet Janet at this moment or am I carrying a Kiki Boo? Um, I absolutely loved both of those moments. <laughs> I sure did. But I, it was just amazing seeing how it, it, truthfully, this process was watching a bunch of folks who were all there for the same common goal. That, that's every theater piece, but every person just, the pieces of the puzzle just felt just were put together and it was mm -hmm. amazing just watching it all just come together all at once and I was thankful to be a part of that but if yeah I had no worries about this like coming after like Naval Y'all <laughs> everything was a breeze after that <laughs> <laughs> well, that's <laughs> for another podcast right. <laughs> all right um, let's talk about uh because y'all have all alluded to it let's talk about the cast I was mm -hmm. you know Big shows like this, especially with musicals, it's usually always about the ensemble, right? Mm. And this show, like, definitely, I mean, oh my God, like, who can't, <laughs> who can't dance? Like, it was just so darn good. I was right there with you. Um, I, I remember, uh, John, I was, I 
was here there Saturday night and um, was selling subscriptions because mm-hmm. uh, I already told you how the sausage was made. Um, so I'm sitting <laughs> there and I'm like, as I'm waiting for folks to come to the table, I'm like, I was like, do I remember how to do drawbacks? Let me just, let me just. So I'm, like in the back, I'm, in, I'm behind the table, like working my feet right. out. Like, do I remember how to do this? <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. So how, how has it been working with this cast? It's it's all powerhouses. Yeah. I mean, every, right. there's not a single person in the cast that I would not trust with my life. <laughs> like, they are they have all like everyone showed up and was super excited to do the work and super excited to learn and experiment and try things. Mm-hmm. Um, and especially the ensemble. I mean, the ensemble really has the hardest track in the show, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> They're in layers of clothes under those very hot lights. Mm-hmm. Um, they only really get to sit down for like maybe two minutes while there's a scene going on before they all have to rush on stage for the next big dance number. Um, I am fortunate enough to only be in two dance numbers, which I'm thankful for that. Thank you, Lindy Brandon. Um, <laughs> and shout out to our swings. Yes. We learned not just oh, you know, yeah. one track, but all the tracks. Yeah, right. which we had, we had some swings have had to go in yeah, on, on Sunday. Literally in the middle of a performance, yeah. Yep. yep, on Sunday and Saturday. So, I mean, like, shout out to them and shout out to the whole, to the whole cast. I mean, this is a very much a show that would not be possible without the ensemble. Uh-huh. Definitely not. Certainly not in COVID times. <laughs> <laughs> 